smile, John. I love how simply he prays and he gives his needs and wants to God and doesn't fluff it up with lots of jargon and funny language. He just presents presents it to God in a simple way and God listens and provides. And I like that. Um, yeah, he's just honest with God and doesn't doesn't have to make it amazing because God knows what we're thinking anyway. So just treat him like a friend. I love that Jesus set such a brilliant example of taking himself away to be quiet to pray, whether it be up a mountain or in a garden or on a boat in the middle of the lake. Um, I think we can really learn from that. And I'm normally quite quick to pray while I'm doing something, like driving. And I, I need to learn to just sit and be quiet in God's presence. It was so spontaneous. Um, Jesus just took time and went away and prayed. There was no um, preparation. There was no. It, ha it has to be at a certain time of day every day. It was completely spontaneous, and when it was needed, that's when he prayed. I really like the idea of Jesus kind of getting away from the crowds. They're all looking for him, and he just sort of sneaks out the back and, and goes up into the hills. And it's night time, and it's dark, and I just imagine the sort of trees swaying and the wind blowing and he's just talking and pouring his heart out to his father and and receiving what he needs to be able to to do um what he's been called to do and carry out the ministry i, just, I love that image so. um i really like the fact that jesus um was consistent in prayer and persistent uh, also it teaches us about prayer because if he had to pray and felt he to pray it just shows how much we need to pray and it's an encouragement to us I, I love the connection. I love just sinking into my spiritual world and just thinking about him and how he lifts us and how he looks after us and loves us. And uh, it's the most it's the most wonderful place you can be for me. I think you know.